Hello, hello to the amazing people, the Niemer here, and welcome to another episode of Limbus Company, a wonderful gacha game from Project Moon here. You can find the full playlist in the comment description below the video. I'll do a little bit of story, then I will think I'll finally start the RR2 with my level 35 characters so I can level them up. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of extraction as well, and maybe even some dailies. So yeah, it's gonna be an interesting episode, I think. <laughs> Too many stuff in one episode? I don't know, we'll see. Let's make it up anyhow let's drive uh so okay uh inferno the evil defining you corp district 21 the first mate second chapter we did that right shipping containers oh yeah we are going and looking for the uh for the hostages right uh smee first mate of the twin hook pirates told us where they were keeping their captured lccb team leader ishmael wanted to leave no loose threats behind but i stopped her even if it meant putting myself in danger i have no logical explanation for what i did nor could i convince ishmael but i don't regret what i did okay let's go and enter and uh, just use my standard team here oh yeah i started using uh, the one who shall grip uh, sinclair who's like bombastic and fantastic and all that good stuff doing lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of damage so that's pretty nice you think of all of these shipping containers are full of right let's try not to linger on that thought i tried my best not to speculate about what terrible things the pirates might be hiding in that mountain of shipping containers hey who's there how'd you find this place shouting tug Ah, hey, we're just here to check out that shipping container with a green triangle over here. And we'll be right out of your hair, okay? Let's take them out before anything worse happens to our agent. Right, well... <laughs> Stories become way more direct the further you go into the chapter, being shorter and more fighty-like. Now we got... Uh, what is this? Bandana wearing twin hook pirate? Mustachioed Twin Hooks Pirate. <laughs> okay. Oh, mustachioed bandana wearing. Are these a little bit stronger than before? I don't know, maybe. So these are poised guys. Anyway, let's just tell my people you are strong enough. Just go and blast. And yeah, I'm waiting for a boss fight at some point, I guess, to challenge me. Where we're gonna be able to say who targets what. Right now, we can just choose the type of ability people use and well egos once they do fill up so that's that nice. oh that's gonna be lots of damage but on a person who really doesn't have lot oh well <laughs> Go Ishmael, go! Show them your rat. This is her chapter, I think, so... Expecting a lot of uh, new wonderful things from Ishmael in... Uh, in talks between the... Between the fights. Very happy to finally have my Sinclair also, like... I regret not, not getting it in Season 1. Oh well. Let's not live our life with regrets. Let's always look forward. That's what I say. But then... <laughs> I don't really... You know, always... Okay, they all have like two attacks. That's that's pretty... Pretty significant. However, we're gonna use this wonderful ability here. It's gonna hit everything. Protect us, of course. Oh, first time I used this, I was like, Hey, no, why me? And I was like, Ah, oh, okay, that's just like some kind of protection kind of thing. 144 damage, not too shabby for one ability. Hopefully puts them close to the staggered thresholds or even stagger them so other people can just now mop the floor with them and that's more or less exactly what's happening. That's really nice. I should also check out the new force now that I'm thinking about it. So, so, so. Now, I don't need to do the R2 before the R3 actually comes out to pick up the bonuses at least. 
Even though I missed out on the banners. Okay, shipping containers too. Ah, do we got more shipping containers? Sure, let's do the shipping containers. It's me first mate, uh, right? Yeah, we already did that. So uh, maybe let's finish the shipping containers, then I'll do the other stuff. Bandana, pirates. Ha, 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 ha. I think I got super lucky in this game with uh, with my extractions. Like some really so high RNGs and percentages, I started doubting that well the, the percentages might be a little bit higher than what they said but they can't be because well they have these legal things to cover so still though it was so so weirdly unexpectedly high luck obviously i always complain like i'm so unlucky but like in this game i used up all my luck in this game now so i better keep playing it because <laughs> other games so. <laughs> no, luck doesn't work that way i think um, how does luck work? I know. You would need access to the, the greater doings of universe to, to figure it out. By the way, did you know that a temperature, in theory, can go from a colder object to a hotter object? Crazy, right? So there's nothing in physics preventing that. So uh, electrons or whatever that causes the, the object to be heated up, the free electrons, the, 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 the moving electrons or whatever that represents heat, they actually can move from colder object to hotter object. However, it is just very unlikely and that's why it doesn't happen in practice. But just knowing that it can happen it's kind of insane. So yeah, actually, like... Probability is the driving force in, in some ways. Yeah, I was watching some videos about the uh, thermodynamics and uh, that kind of stuff. So yeah, just an interesting thing I wanted to share. What you learn about physics in school, like very often, is just a simple representation of what actually happens. Also, we don't really understand everything anyway. Alright, uh, so shipping containers too. Like, close to being... Uh, to finish this group as well. Yeah, that looks good. So even with level 35 here, even though in chapter 5 we can level up our people to 40 now, I'm crushing through this. So it was clearly balanced around the fact that People have 35s as they after this, enter this chapter, so it's kind of cool. I wonder what the new player experience is for this game right now. I mean, so many different IDs you can unlock, like... It's a gacha, so I always feel like, oh no, I'm behind, but it's a single player game, so you shouldn't worry. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Mr. Pilot. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. We did the shipping containers. Now I finally wanna do the other stuff as well. Uh, so... Let's go and enter R2. And I'm not gonna start doing it today, but I just wanna enter it so I lock in my team, you know. Okay, I'm gonna disembark. There, and I'm gonna re-enter it. And then... Okay, here we pick our people. So basically our team... Our core team will be like uh, V Don, V Ryushu, Sinclair, and our our Heathcliff here. Yeah, and then uh, um, so one, two, three, four, and then three people we're gonna put in and out. So from other people, we have. Uh, Hurukome Clan Vakashu Honglu, Molar Office Fixer um, Otis, Dietzi um, Roger, the one who should be Faust, 
and um, a fluorescent ego spice bush is tank, right? And then Mersault, I'm not gonna use, and Gregor because they're kind of very tanky and don't do enough damage. I have them on base IDs here just because their passives are the least likely to mess things up. So, for example, his passive is. One ally with low speed. Oh wait, what? One ally with low speed inflicts plus one rupture. We could use this one, I guess. But one ally with the highest max HP takes minus ten percent damage from attacks. Yes, I don't think it really, really matters. Uh, and then Gregor, I think, has some healing as his passive. Yeah, at the start of the combat phase, the ally with the with the least HP heals 5 HP. It's not a lot, but it's gonna trickle in slowly and surely. So this is basically this is basically the team I had in last season. Everything except Sinclair, which I borrowed, and I entered the R2. I was thinking maybe to do it under 150 turns, but like my plans for the day collapsed. I wanted to do it all in one day. It was a crazy plan. Uh, but my days my but my plans totally changed. Instead of having one whole gay for gaming i had to do other stuff so i just gave up but i still kind of want to prove to myself that with this team that i entered in season two i could have done it in under 150 turns um and i could have gotten the cosmetic things from this game so this will this will be like a rite of passage to me to learn how to properly use these strong ids because it's not just about owning them it's also about learning how to use them so uh, I'm gonna enter the railway with this team now and then and then I'm gonna do the RR2 when, when I have time. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna do it a little bit different than last time. Last time I just rushed down the this thing like in four turns, but the problem was I didn't get enough sanity on my people, so I started really really struggling. Also didn't have resources to pop passives off. It wasn't that good. It really wasn't that good. So yeah, this is this will be like a fixer up for me. Now I'm not sure if it's enough to just enter the thing or actually need to like jump into the boss fight and then exit it or what, but let's also jump into the boss fight and exit it. I don't know what the best team here is. Uh, so yeah, the procedure now would be to go into the boss fight, see what it is weak to, choose my people based on that. But like this first fight will always be like messy because we have very low sanity. So, so what I'm gonna do here is gonna exit and then hopefully, hopefully the R2 team is now saved and locked in. So we can go and go to the window. Save your progress, return to the main menu. Yeah, good. So yeah, now my team for R2 is ready and I'm gonna do it when I can. And now if I need to, I can level up my people just to speed up my progress through the game and stuff like that. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is, it's gonna be an exciting thing. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna extract. So we got a, a shirt, three star identity, deck extraction ticket. Not sure what we got that for. Uh, maybe it was some issue in the game. No, it was actually a new. No, it was actually this one. Google Play KR 2023 best in the game of. So yeah, they won some kind of reward, and then as a thank you, they gave us this guaranteed three star deck extraction ticket. So basically, how it works is. Uh, you extract 10 times and you're guaranteed to get a 3 star. Now you have a lot of 3 stars, so it's probably gonna be a duplicate, but maybe not. What is this? 7 Association, South Section 6 Director Otis. Is this thing any good? I don't know. Weakness Analyzed. Now that's an interesting ability. Ah, bring back memories to Library of Ruina. When does Developurgis come back? I don't know. How often is it? In any case, I'm gonna go and do this. Let's see what we get. Well, fingers crossed for no duplicates. I think I have about half of the three stars in the game or so, so... We'll see.
Okay, let's start with the poor ones, I guess. And I like clicking these, even though, you know. Oh, that one's... No. So this is the, the three star down here. I really wonder what I'm gonna get. Didn't get a single two star also. And drum roll. Bam. And Don Quixote. Call me Don Quixote, little sister of the middle. Oh, we got we got the new one. <laughs> of course we did. <laughs> uh, of course we did. Yeah, my luck is just unparalleled. Call me Don Quixote, a little sister of the middle and a trusty minion to the big brother, pleased to make thine acquaintance. So this is one of the... this is actually the newest ID in the game, together with uh, the other one, I think. Yeah. So we got a... Uh, sister Don Quixote and the brother Mersault here. Target extraction. I wonder if the game makes it more likely to get things you don't already have with a deck extraction ticket. It might be so. I don't know. Or maybe... Yeah, maybe I could have checked. Maybe I could have checked. Uh, there. I like to clear these. I want to eat! What? You want to eat ice cream? Okay, good for you. Currently moving to TikTok department. I really like this though, so let's keep it there. Um, I'm not sure how good she is. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of, of bleed in this game. Oh, this one's complicated. <laughs> I think I was already checking, like looking at these. Yeah, no, it looks like a tank, a lot of HP. In any case, good to add to my collection either way. And then we're gonna do some dailies here. And then we'll see after that. I'm gonna do my dailies. So every day... So every day I do these. So these include like one... Uh, one Lux Cavation. And I'm doing the difficulty 33 right now. Yeah, this is like super easy, it takes like a couple of minutes and then I do threads as well. I do threads every day. Um, this is insane though, look at that. Oh my. Probably the best ID in the game. Um, not so good on Uptight 4 though. <laughs> They kind of balanced the game a little bit there when they added the uptime for some people were not happy. So yeah, weaker IDs got a lot of nice bonuses on uptime 4 and stronger ones got very little. So they brought them a little bit to the closer level, right? But like I imagine some people invested quite a bit to get the good ideas and, and then they were disappointed that their uptime 4s were not that good. I think either way we should just chill and enjoy the game, enjoy the story, collect the IDs, rip space. Yeah, this is the close contender for maybe the, the, the best character in the game, but like it's a it's a hard competition. Okay, let's go. And here you also have, don't have to do it in 10 turns anyway, so it's pretty easy. I wonder if I should level up my people now that I entered the R2. I mean, that was the whole point, right? I think I might leave them on 35 just to see how far we can get in the chapter with 35s. Just to see, like, what is their design philosophy. Yeah, I think that's alright. There is one thing though that I would like to have people 44 and that's the thread. So this thing is super easy as you can see. However, the thread excavation uh not so easy as you will see soon. I actually don't know what is the what is the abnormality today. Some of them are much harder than others. 
Well, it's a bit interesting to show you the what are the hardest threat excavations this like right now in the game. I think I did every single one of them at least once, and then when I don't have time, I just uh, skip it. So I still have like so many modules that I really don't have to worry about that. I I get more modules per day that than I really have time to play, so I can be a little bit, you know, <laughs> free with them. Well, to crush and crush very well. Amora and Saint and Saint. Oh, this this dude. He's like these. When I get these in like a final, like when I get these in the. Oh yeah, I'm also doing like almost every day. I do like one hard mirror just to increase my battle pass level. Like when I get two of these in there, it's so nasty. They're very powerful. They can really mess me up sometimes. Like they're the most common reason when I need to repeat the fights. Okay. Now we're gonna do the thread. So now there are three levels. So there's actually a level 14 now. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna. And uh, the difference between these is they give uh, like different uh, amount of rewards. So the they all cost the same amount of modules. But this third one actually gives a uh, very better reward, so it is actually rewarding to like do well in the game and level up your people and start doing these as soon as you can. Now this is a... Okay, so for example, this one's struggling, so it's probably a good idea to either have somebody else attack... Oh, what is this sound it's making? Can you do it? Oh, you can do it. There we go. So that's better. So now everyone's now... Okay, she's neutral though. Can you do better? You can. So now you have favorite, 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 favorite and tune opposed. See, this is much better. Game's not smart so enough to auto-assign these. Uh, this is one of the easiest ones. Easier ones, by the way. Uh, I'm really not too worried about this one. Now, these are a little bit easier than their versions uh, at the end of the mirror dungeon. Uh, however, you also have no resources like you would in a mirror dungeon. So, technically, they're a little bit tougher. Like, with one or two of them, I struggle for the first two turns until I get my sanity up. Also, that's another thing, right? Your sanity is not on 100%. However, this thing, for some reason, goes down really easily. So yeah, you can easily poke one of its eyes out, doesn't hit so hard, and now it's staggered. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click damage here, so everyone's gonna attack here where it's staggered, and this will do like a zillion of damage, and it's gonna be like a relatively short fight as a result. I think. Well, it's not doing that much as I expected, okay. Maybe my scent is still a little bit low for this, I don't know, maybe. Usually I just like watch something on YouTube while doing this, so I'm not really paying attention and yeah, I was I was thinking this would do way more. Oh okay. Mr uh, the one who should grip will like now lost control. That's not great, but okay. Well, let's continue attacking just its broken ports. Going through that HP bar. Okay, this will do lots of damage now, I think. No, no, yes. Yeah, that was a lot, I think. Well, <laughs> Sinclair might mess us up now. Let's see, now it's actually attacking the Toads. Okay. New 2 will be a life offering. That's good. Now, do we get some sanity back, or how does it work? It's been a while since I had a breakdown. Um, oh, it's recessed to zero, okay. But yeah, this, like I said, this thing super easy doesn't do much, so... I don't know, when they designed these 
extra excavations. They just made some of these very, very easier than others. Not sure why, but surely it should have been obvious that this one's much, much easier. I guess in the next episode, it's going to be like a different enemy and I'll show you how much harder it is. Or maybe I just suck. You don't even know with these kind of things, you know. <laughs> And that's gonna be it. And I think I'm gonna do another exciting thing since we have some time left. Um, okay. So now I can actually finish my daily. So that's important. I do this every day. Oh, assemble one and can fall in module. Oh yeah, okay. Let's do it. We'll assemble way more than one. <laughs> there we go. And then we already started doing some weeklies. Yeah, already almost done. Okay. And then uh, I'll uh, I'll grab a couple more, but I'm gonna skip. So if you skip. You pay twice the price and you get 50% more reward. Um, I think it's worth it. Like, we're gonna need a lot of threads at some point in the game. So we get 12 threads here. It might even just be better to just do this once you did the air fight at least once to get the lunacy out of it. This might be good. Like, two modules for 12 threads. I mean, yes, please. Um, you might not agree if you don't have a lot of IDs yet and you just want to do a lot of mirror dungeons, but for me, like, I have so much lunacy, I can also do this kind of thing, like, see, so this is like, seven more days, and this would last me, like, ages, you know? Okay. Right, and the 9999 is the limit, so I have to be careful about that. We also have the boxes, so lots of resources and let's do last thing uh so let's go check out my battle pass and uh yeah i'm uh i'm level 147 already a couple of weeks into the let's see when when did the season start 16th of 11th so that's like Like 16 days ago, so in 16 days I maxed out the battle pass and let's grab the battle pass rewards. I think that would be a fun activity to do. Um, so yeah, I did support the game with the Limbus Pass, so we're gonna have some extra rewards there. Like this, like this. Okay, let's go, let's grab these. Right, so an introduction one, we get a banner and some experience for my people. Then we got some threads, some modules, nothing super interesting there. Now these boxes, uh, we get random sinners ego shards. We should probably just open these right away just to see, so we know what we are we are working with, you know? And we'll do exactly that once we're done here. Some more experience, some threads. So these used to be like, there used to be 30 of these, now there's 120. Okay, some more boxes, some more experience. So they spread them out a little bit to make them like a more, um, I don't know, streamlined experience. I don't know. These, these are the good boxes. These let you choose which sinner. And this is the main way you unlock IDs you want in the game. You collect many of these, then you open them, and then you choose a sinner, and then you go to the dispenser and buy them. And yeah, that's nice to see that some of them are in the free, free thing. Okay. Yeah, just gonna click through these things which so these boxes are just extra energy per day to like do the story and excavations and stuff i don't think i need to do excavations anymore in general i just have so much experience just to get some lunacy which uh, allows you to refill your energy and do more stuff every day if you have time i don't though i really don't like best way to best way to farm these levels and also get lots of these boxes is to actually do the hardest mirror dungeon available to you. And let's see, do we get something juicy at 20? Maybe. Oh, we do. 
What's this? Raises an identity level up to 40. Okay. I think that's the first one I got here. Um, that's fine. I don't think we need that, but it's kind of cool to have it. I need to remember to use it. It's kind of a waste if you use it on somebody who's not level 1. And we did get a level 1 identity now that I think about it. You can also click this receive all button, but what's the fun in that, right? Okay. Next I'm gonna get some announcers probably. Where are the egos though? Usually like... Oh, there we go. There's the ego. Effervescent corrosion. So an ego for um, this thing here. Inflict rupture by gluttony reason divided by two. Okay. Inflict two gluttony fragility. Okay. Fragility is pretty powerful. Increases the damage done to enemies by 10%. Only two enemies though. Interesting. Okay. Well, in any case. It'll stink. It won't come off once you want. Okay. So this must be a new one, right? Oh, by the way, do we get like next level egos in this chapter? It won't come off once you're cut. Okay. It'll stink. So it's kind of like a poison or something. I wonder, yeah, if we get both egos and this is super annoying. That's what just happened. Like, why would you do this to me, game? Why? 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 Okay, let's continue. <laughs> like, here I am. It's 4 a.m. Like, it's a weekend, so usually I do this kind of weird sleeping schedules. Just chilling, clicking these things, making a video for you guys and, uh, and girls and... Uh, mm, and then the game decides, hey, let's scroll all the way to the right. And uh, it seems like the rewards are improving as you as you click through. Oh, okay. So now we get to our first Limbus Pass EO here. So it's a Faust thing. Faust already. Well, actually, that might nine two. Okay, that's a weird name. As 4 plus, highest last A reasoning, attack weight plus 1, 6 plus, additional weight, inflict 3 burn, convert 2 burn on target to 1 defense level down. Okay. Interesting. Max 10. Yeah, then, I, I, it's so so, really. Alright. And now the game will be like, let's scroll. It's now written, all that remains, something, something. It will be nice to see these animations though. Oh, look at that. She has a siren's eye in her chest. All that remains is, it is to set you free. And then, yeah, game's like, hey, would you like us to do this? <laughs> That's probably the reason why they did it. A good reason. Just they didn't think people would go through this slowly, but instead just click receive all probably. Okay, some more training tickets now. Gold ones, which give more experience. I think it's important that these are good enough for new people so they can get going in the game. Uh, they probably are. Stamps of the clearment. But what was I saying? Yeah, I have these weird schedules during the weekend sometimes. And sometimes I can't play at all. This is a weekend when I have some time to play. So what's the time anyway of the video? 34 minutes. Okay, uh, I'll finish this. Didn't plan to do this in this video. Just kind of happened spontaneously. Lots and lots of boxes. And... Okay. So we get another 9-2, this time for, I want to say Sinclair, another burn one, okay. Um, sure, let's grab it. Your weakness is written right here. So 9-2, that's probably an abnormality or something I'm not familiar with, with it. 
This one's HE actually. Okay, let's move on. Where did we stop? There we go. On 55, that's a weird place to put a eagle. Like I would expect 60. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, more and more boxes. Well, that's what we like to see. We like boxes, that's for sure. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is a free extraction ticket. Okay. Well, I do love me some extraction tickets. So maybe we're going to do some more extractions last time to spend these. I think it's better to spend them. The fewer IDs you have, the bigger chance you don't get duplicates. Let's spend them as soon as you can. Ooh, what's that? A fluorescent corrosion and some kind of banner. It's pretty sticky. You won't dodge this. Oh, that's Rodian, okay. So what does it do? A fluorescent corrosion. Uh, da, 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 da. Tremor. Inflict three tremor and plus seven tremor count. That's a lot of tremor. How expensive is it? Uh, it's kind of expensive. Okay, uh, okay let's move on. Uh, and we're gonna get a new announcer, that's pretty nice. I already saw it, it's Ishmael. Well, it is her chapter after all. The big hunt for the whale, Ishmael. The character from the Bombay deck. I really like how this game uh, incorporates like different uh, books and stories and stuff like that. Actually brilliant. Okay. Oh! These are, these are the dead people, Sword and... Effian Sod announced, yeah, last episode, I couldn't remember their name. Okay, only for people who support the game. Hmm, interesting. I mean, it's just a cosmetic, really, but hey. This is, this is very curious to me. Like, this is where we see, like, in what direction they want to take the game. More interesting stuff they put here on the bottom. Like, the more, like, you can call it, like, pay to win. But, like, there's really nothing there and plus the egos that are down here even if they are powerful you can still get them from the dispenser i think so i think probably i should know these kind of things i don't care game's easy enough blind obsession hello poise and charge okay and uh, another cosmetic thing okay and the only one who moves in these waves. Sinclair? Did she say Sinclair? There's gonna be one, another one of these on the bottom probably. That's, it seems like Shatter, not Sinclair. I'm the only one who moves in these waves. Shatter! Okay, oh yeah, there it is. On 120. The big boss. Okay. I mean... Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna click through these now, but like, I was like, maybe I should have just clicked on the things that actually d are different rather than just red boxes and an experience, right? Yeah, in hindsight, I should have done this, but we do this like once per season and season is out like every couple of months. So, oh, hello. Season three, guaranteed deck extraction ticket. Another one. Mm, well, that's juicy. By the way, supporting the game is only like... 10, 11 dollars or something per season. So far there were three seasons, so I effectively paid around 30 dollars or euros or whatever for this game. A tiny bit more and I think it's totally worth it. Compared to some other games I bought. <laughs> and then there are some like behemoths like Baldur's Gate 3 who's probably worth like 10 times as much. But, uh, that's gonna be a long game, that's gonna be a long game. For some games it's better, and then there's Oberdin, who like I finished in like 20 hours and that's it. Okay, we get another, um, how do we call this, like a banner thing. Um, and it was like relatively expensive per hour of play, but it was just so good. Just so amazing that game, the Oberdin. Oof, really happy I got that game recommended to me. 
Well, actually, I didn't buy it. Somebody else did for me. But still. Still. I'm talking in general, right? And 25 more boxes. And there, 0 seeking 0 was worried that a lot of my boxes turned to shards at the season end. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much. Call me Ishmael. Oh, this is the... The, this, oh, this is this, the, the Seasons the seasons banner, and then Blind Obsession, let's see it. Oh, dude. It's a Vav. Wait, can you actually, can you buy this from Dispenser, I wonder. Hopefully. Not yet. Ouch. Um. So, question for Zero Seeking Zero. When does that become available? Are these able to be bought yet? Not yet, okay. So I'm not gonna have, be able to have this hook fixer, but probably doesn't matter. So we'll be able to buy this at the next Walpurgis night. But more importantly, so this is the season three Limbus Pass for Bon Voyage. This is where you buy stuff available in season three and we will not be able to buy this once the season four comes. So you should get all of these. Uh, so, Really? Really? Well, so they started charging paid lunacy for cosmetics? Uh, I wonder <laughs> how happy people are with that. Okay, interesting. Um, but yeah, these you can buy for shards, so that's no problem. This is the important stuff, right? This is less important stuff. But like, there is no... So this thing cannot be bought from the dispenser. Will this ever be available from the dispenser or not? So this is the first, I believe, WAV Ego in the game. So tier four. Uh, heals 25 SP for 4 allies with the least SP, gain 6 charge count, give 2 poise count to 1 random ally, after attack apply 1 pierce power up and 1 damage up to 4 allies with the highest SP. Okay, pretty pricey to play and uh, a lot of sanity cost also. So is this thing actually any good? That's my question. Oh, 3 pride fragility on overclock, yeah. Well, we get it because we supported the game. So I wonder those who are free to, free to play, when do they get access to this and, and how? And we also get the Ishmael announcer, so that's gonna be pretty cool. But everyone gets that, so that's nice. Huh. All hands, full speed toward where the light is or something. Oh yeah, the, the whale hunt, yes. Blind obsession, yeah, because the, the 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 captain from the Bombay Dick was blindly obsessed uh, about killing the white whale, right? That's the whole chapter thing. All hands, full speed towards where the light flicker, the waves will lay waste to everything in our way. Okay, cool. And then any level you get above 120, you get one of these boxes and two of these. So, yeah. So this will be the reason why I keep doing the the dailies, the hard mode dungeons and stuff like that. Hmm, I see. Okay. How expensive is paid current lunacy anyway?
your announcer would cost you a lot, dude. Like, I don't know. I wasn't aware of that. That's interesting. It has to be paid lunacy. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's go check out the banner. Let's actually put the banner on. Like, enough of Limbus Bus, right? <laughs> So we can choose border and ego thing amidst the storm. Is so that the one I want to use? I don't know. And let's see. Border 2. Pecut town or amidst the storm. No, I think I like this color better maybe. Or maybe we combine use this one for this one. Ah, that's... No, 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 that's too too strong for my eyes. What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> let's go, maybe shipping... No, let's go amidst the storm here and... Amidst the storm, I think I like that. There you go. And then we also have this one. Also amidst the storm. And then we got these. There we go. Call me Ishmael. Wonderful. Actually, let's do it like this. Um, how do I remove this thing now? Maybe I can't. Oh, there we go. Call me Ishmael, nice. Um, that's fine. Let me see. Yeah, I should probably refresh this so people have access to these. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. What's this? That's not fine. Change. Why can't I put this one? There we go. Okay, that looks good, looks good. Let's go for the Etsy. Okay. Is this rabbit? This is not rabbit. There. That's fine. Fine. Mr. Gregor, I don't even know what I have for him. This thing, sure. And finally, finally, I can offer this to people, but so many people already have it, doesn't really matter, does it now? There we go, that looks good to me. So anyone having me on friend list will be able to use one of these as their supports. Okay, that's cool. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you to have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Uh, be kind to each other. And uh, let's make the world a better place together. Oh, what's this? There's something blinking there. I don't see it. Um, I don't know. I've, oh, we got... Wait, what? We got a new phrase in the word? Wait, what? Oh, from the egos and stuff, right. <laughs> well, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. The new Emerson signing out. Bye-bye.